make time to celebrate success be proud when you succeed and be happy for others when they do so hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's vlog i am going to share few recipes that my kids love to eat they have always made me feel proud and what could be better than preparing their favorite food to make them happy and just to show them that i love them so let's get started let's start with preparing the pavlova cake which just requires egg whites so here i'm using four egg whites for this cake the point to be noted is the utensil the whisker or any equipment that you are using while preparing pavlova should be completely dry it doesn't contain any moisture in it or else you will end up with flat gooey pavlova that is what we do not require at all so here i have whisked four egg whites till i get soft peaks as shown and i have just added 1/4 teaspoon of salt to it again give it a good whisk so we are done with the soft peaks and now i'm going to add the granulated sugar little by little at a time incorporate it and whisk it this is 3/4 cup of granulated sugar that i have used for four egg whites and after some time when uh, you end up adding your whole cast sugar your meringue will look like silky smooth glossy form as shown and now just squeeze half lemon or you can use cream of tartar instead of lemon and here goes few drops of vanilla essence along with 2 teaspoons of corn flour this will help our pavlova to stay stiff and retain its shape now again give it a good mix now gently mix it on low speed and on the other hand i have preheated my oven at 140 degrees centigrade so our meringue is ready and here i have lined a baking tray with a silicon mat and just pour out all the meringue and shape it as you want or you can just simply divide this mixture into three or four portions and you may end up with three or four small little pavlova cakes but here i'm going to make a huge pavlova cake so i'm just going to smooth the ends as shown just to create a smooth surface and later on you can add few patterns with the help of spatula as i am going to do my oven is preheating at 140 degrees centigrade and i'm going to pop this into the oven for 75 minutes at 140 degrees centigrade but keep checking it in between after every 15 minutes and once it is baked it will look like this crunchy from outside and marshmallowy texture from inside just knock it and you can feel the crunch let it cool down on its own and here i'm going to whisk my cream i have taken non dairy whip you can use any cream of your choice this already contains sugar in it so i'm not going to use sugar so here i'm 
going to decorate my pavlova. So here it goes. Hope you can see. So this is crunchy from outside but soft from inside. Now top up with cream add as much as you want spread it evenly and you can top up with any fruit of your choice you can add blueberry strawberry or any other pie filling or fresh fruits whatever you want to add just be experimental and enjoy your yummy Pavlova cake. As mangoes are in season, adding some finely chopped mangoes. So here I have added finely chopped mangoes, spread it evenly and cover it. Let it chill for a while and enjoy your yummy pavlova cake. You may decorate it as per your choice. So here I'm just creating some flowers for a finished look. And I am good to go. Yes, my pavlova is ready. Now, and I am going to put it into the fridge for two three hours and I enjoy it in my dinner now with the rest of the whipped cream I'll be making Oreo ice cream so this is the whipped cream that I have used for decorating the pavlova cake so in goes the crushed Oreo biscuits and yes I'll be adding few big chunks of Oreos I'll just break it using my hands into big chunks and we'll just fold it and yes my quick ice cream is ready now pop it into the refrigerator for overnight and enjoy it the next day this is my daughter's favorite ice cream so here it goes into the refrigerator and in the meantime my pavlova was chilled and I couldn't resist myself to dig in so here it goes wow lovely beautiful and it was super yum it is always my son's favorite so on his demand I made this and it was really really yum please give it a try now let's move on to our next recipe here I have some frozen Manchurian balls that I prepared last week out of some cabbage and cauliflower so here I'm frying them into the appe pan and you can also use the air fryer instead and half of the balls I have put into the air fryer So they are almost done. And on the other hand for boiling my pasta, here I have taken sufficient water with salt and some oil in it. And once it till come to a boil, I'll be adding my pasta. So boil has come and in goes the pasta. Boil it as per the instructions given on the pack. It ha it will hardly take five to six minutes. Here I'm going to prepare pasta and some creamy salad out of this pasta. So I'll divide it into two parts. And let's get back to our Manchurian. So here I have taken some oil let it heat and add sufficient finely chopped ginger and garlic i have used chopper to chop it 
Just make sure not to burn them. So in goes big chunks of onion. Give it a good mix and then add capsicum. I have always these uh, capsicums handy into my refrigerator. I just clean them and flash freeze them and put it into the ziplock ziplock bags so that they are available whenever I want them. And in goes some Indian Aromat Masala Mix. This really uplifts your flavor. So 1 teaspoon of Indian Aromat Powder, 1 teaspoon of Veg Bullion and 2 teaspoons of Corn Flour. Just make slurry out of it. And I have just added 2 teaspoons of soya sauce along with 3 to 4 teaspoons of tomato ketchup into this. And I have kept my slurry ready. I've just used three ingredients, veg bullion, Indian aromat powder and the corn flour. If you don't have veg bullion and corn, uh, uh, the aromat powder, then you can totally skip it or you can use just simply use the corn flour slurry. But in that case, you will have to add salt and few other spices to balance out your manchurian. And here I have just added 1 teaspoon of uh, sugar. Here I am not using any other spices like salt, pepper or any other spice as my Indian aromat powder and veg bullion powder contains the spices, the salt and few other spices. So I am not using the seasonings except 1 teaspoon of sugar. And here I have added my Manchurian balls. Give it a good mix and my manchurian is ready so let's move on to our pasta here into the wok i have added some oil in goes ginger and garlic saute them along with one finely chopped onion with salt in it here i'm using the ready-made passata which is Italian tomato puree or you can just simply uh, add your uh, pizza pasta sauce or the pureed tomatoes the blanched and pureed tomatoes so here I have added some black pepper powder and oregano so here I have added the passata cubes I always keep tomato puree and passata cubes ready with me so that whenever I'm in hurry I can make my food in just five minutes so these are always handy with me give it a good mix and saute it for three to four minutes as it may require some time to melt so our masala is done now I have just added my pasta now mix it well and top up with a handful of cheese switch off the flame and cover it the cheese will melt in its own heat so you need not have to bake this the cheese will melt on its own with the heat internal heat of the pasta just put the lid on and open it while serving and yes with the rest of pasta i'm going to make a creamy salad you must try it it really comes yum so here into a serving bowl i am going to take half cup of curd thick curd and half cup of mayonnaise and half cup of cream i have used amul's cream or instead of amul's cream you can use the ordinary malai give it a good mix so that it looks creamy and and smooth i hope you can see the lovely smooth silky texture and now i'm going to add 3 teaspoons of sugar into it and again beat it well 
Now in goes our pasta. Give it a good mix and you can add as many fruits as you want. You can add grapes, pomegranate, mango or apple or olives also. Just be experimental and add as many fruits as you want. So here I am just adding apples and mangoes that I have in my hand. And yes, don't add uh, bananas because it really gives your salad a mushy and uh, sticky texture. So just avoid adding banana. You can add grapes, pear, olives. Give it a gentle mix and keep it into the refrigerator for good two hours and serve it chilled as a side dish with your main course. And yes, we are ready. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel. And until my next vlog, take good care of yourself and eat homemade good food. And yes, enjoy.